Hey, what's going on everyone? So uh, Webinar Jam has had a, a handful of changes and updates to their platform and the way that they do things. And so uh, some of the items and instructions in my original article for integrating Infusionsoft and Webinar Jam are just now outdated. And depending on the version of Webinar Jam that you have, uh, they may not work for you at all. So I wanted to just record a quick video with some updates to how you can handle this, okay? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is log into Webinar Jam and you should see something like this and you're gonna to navigate to the advanced settings uh, section. So if you see your list of my webinars, you should be able to click on advanced settings and then from there, uh, you're gonna see your advanced integrations. And what you wanna do is actually check the one that says API custom integrations and you'll see a nice blue check mark there. Uh, and then below that, it'll reveal three fields, the member ID, the Webby code and the API key. Now, you're not going to need the member ID, but you are going to need the other two, the Webby code and the API key. So um, you're going to take that information and uh, you're going to use that in Infusionsoft to produce an HTTP post that passes the information from Infusionsoft to Webinar Jam. Uh, the reason that this is, is valuable is because this allows you to use uh, Webinar Jam in conjunction with your Infusionsoft referral tracking links. Uh, the way that it will work is you're going to send your traffic to a web form or a landing page, just an Infusionsoft form or an Infusionsoft landing page, so that the leads are captured. And, and if you're using referral partner links, they can be tied to, uh, to the referral partner and you can have that connection made right away. Um, and then what you want to do is in the sequence following that web form or that landing page or whatever that registration um, action was, you're going to set up an HTTP post. And if you haven't used HTTP posts before, basically it's just Infusionsoft's way of taking information that it has and throwing it to a destination URL. So let's go ahead and click on this HTTP post. And uh, in here you can see I've got, uh, I've got a URL. So that's the post URL, that's where we're sending this information. And then I've got a variety of fields here. And then uh, that's telling Webinar Jam, hey, here's the field that this information on the right goes into. So these are basically value pairs. The left is the label or the name that uh, Webinar Jam is looking for, and then the right is the value that we are sending with this post uh, to that destination. So um, the API key, uh, and you want your left column to look just like mine. You don't need to have, uh, you don't need to change anything there. You don't. Uh, it is case sensitive, so you want it to pretty much match up with what I've got here. Uh, on the right side, uh, your API key is going to be what you captured from that API custom integrations tab on your webinar. Uh, and then the webinar ID is going to be the Webby code is what uh, Webinar Jam calls it. But in this in this value pair, it's webinar ID. So that'll go here. Um, and then for first name, you're just going to use the merge field for first name from Infusionsoft. Last name is uh, last name is optional here, so you don't have to include last name. But if you do, uh, same concept. You just use the merge field for last name. Um, and then uh, you got the customer's email. That's important because uh, that uh, is how they get their confirmation from Webinar Jam. And uh, finally, uh, the schedule. So uh, if it's a one-time webinar, you just leave the schedule at zero. Uh, but this basically indicates which webinar, if it's a series, you want to register them for. So it's kind of hard to do this one in a dynamic way, but most of the time it's a single webinar, so you're going to just leave it as zero for the webinar in that series as uh, just the first one. Um, so that's it. You would set this post to ready, set the sequence to ready, uh, publish your campaign, and then you are ready to capture leads and register them for Webinar Jam. So hopefully this video uh, is able to get you what you need and you're able to, to use Webinar Jam in conjunction with Infusionsoft and, and uh, you know make it easier for your prospects to get registered for your various webinars. If you have questions about this or if you run into any hurdles or if I overlooked something, feel free to let me know or, or comment uh, below this video. Take care.